Akiro Dolu Gali Nehabar's death shows us the nothingness of life, says Peter Obi. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general elections, Peter Obi, has expressed sadness over the death of Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akiro Dolu and the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Gali Omar Nayaba. Sahara reporters earlier reported that Governor Akiro Dolu died on Wednesday at the age of 61. Similarly, the former Speaker of the Nigerian House of Representatives, Alaji Gali Omar Nayaba, who served between 1999 and 2003, reportedly died on Wednesday morning at a hospital in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja. In his condolences message on the death of the two Nigerian leaders, Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, said that their death have shown Nigerian leaders who are still serving the naughtiness of life and why everyone, especially leaders, should remain firm in good works. In a series of posts he made on X, formerly Twitter, Obi said, I have just received the sad news of the death of two prominent political leaders, the governor of Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Akiro Dulu, and the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Gali Naraba. I was op opportune to be close to Governor Akiro Dulu as the then president of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA. He invited me to speak at an MBA events and since then we remain close and always discuss issues about Nigeria. Why Nahaba served as speaker, we met on several occasions and always discussed the problems of Nigeria. For Akiro Dolu, may God Almighty who called him home grant him internal rest in his kingdom and grant his immediate family and the good people of Ondo State the fortitude to bear his loss. For Gali Nahaba, may God Almighty forgive his sins and grant him internal rest and grant his family and the good people of Kanu State the fortitude to bear his loss. Their death shows us who we are still serving, the naughtiness of life and why we should remain firm in good works. May God grant them all may, may God grant all of us who mourn them and the entire nation the fortitude to bear their losses. I say amen to that prayer. How I wish, how I wish, you know, how our leaders we understand that this life is too short. They will be able to stand firm and do, you know, good work. You understand? You see, death has no poor nor rich. It's a debt everybody have to pay. You pay it one day. Truly, life is vanity. Why death is a, necess a necessary end? But Akiro Dolu legacy, you know, Mark will not be forgotten in a hurry. At least the man tried. Akiro, Akiro Dolu tried. He was once a, a one voice in the southwest when insecurity, you know, took over that, you know, that uh, region. He mentioned that they formed a, a outfit, could name the the uh, Almatico. He tried. That is how you live life. Well, I don't really know much about the other man. But the little I know about Akiro Dolu, he tried. But that does not mean that he has not made mistakes. We all make mistakes in life. But at least, even in the midst of your mistakes, let people point out two or three good things you have done. When people go talk, say, at least see what you do. This life not be you get them. Everybody here, na journey will come. How I wish our politicians will understand. How I wish our politicians will think the way Peter will be think. 
how I wish they would think that this life is short. That is vanity upon vanity. Everything is vanity. You understand? How I wish that they will understand so that they will stand and do the needful. You cannot, you cannot stand and watch people destroying people's destiny. And you say there are some persons who are in charge of so, 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 and they're untouchable. You cannot speak. There are people who are, you know, benefiting from insecurity in Nigeria, but they are untouchable. You can't do anything. There are few indig individuals who are benefiting from this first subsidy, uh, whatever. And these people, you know them. You can't do anything about them. Our leaders, you understand that the only legacy you keep today is the good thing you do. Not the money you acquire. Not the cars you acquire or the houses you have built. A time will come, those cars you are buying up and down, they will turn to old school. They will start depreciating. They go old. But what you don't do, good thing when you don't do, it can never hold. Because every time is fresh in the mind of the people. Well, may you so rest in peace. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.